Why did you uh, say you think it's only one day more of the strike? Because I think today is the final day. Why? I know they're meeting again for the second time. But because they didn't meet yesterday. What does that have to do with anything? Did I've, they meet like four times with the WGA? They, they did. But the all of the parameters with the WGA translate very replicable to what SAG is asking. Not all, though. Most. Most. Not but all. the fact that they met Monday and did not need to meet again Tuesday tells me that they came to an agreement and today they're finalizing everything and then making an announcement by the end of the day. That's my that's my hopeful expectation. I don't think they would have had a break in negotiations yesterday unless that had been the case. I hope you're right, but I'm a pessimist. I know. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs of Corbin. I am Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow us to the account, subscribe, like button. Hopefully we can all get back to work. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? You taking drugs? Straight from Bollywood yeah. itself. Nobody can see what you're doing. Pill form. Why are you doing so many pills? Is that fentanyl? Yep. Three different forms of fentanyl to get you started on your day. Why'd you wait till you're on camera to do that? I want to influence the youngins. Speaking of influence the youngins, we got a uh, coffee with Quran teaser. It was vitamin D, zinc, and vitamin B12. I just ate, so I needed to take it now. Uh, Karen Johar just dropped it. Wanted to take it now. Dropped a teaser for the new season of Coffee with Quran coming out October 20th. I had a suspicion this was going to happen because the Times of India had a little blurb that says, uh, Karan Johar says Coffee with Quran, but I didn't read it. Um, so this is a little teaser he he gave for the new season. Cool. And I think it's like a kind of a skit with him. <laughs> cool. Uh, you know, we love some Coffee with Quran. Here we go. Hey, Karan. Hey, Karan. <laughs> it's me, your conscience, but with a K. Did someone put something in my coffee? Yes. Perspective. Excuse me? <laughs> the real question is, did someone put something in your coffee the last season? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean the conversations were so meh. What's meh? Meh. Meh. Meh as in thanda. You could have called it cold coffee with Karan. And this is supposed to be funny? No, honey. But were those cheese jokes with your Nepo baby supposed to be funny? <laughs> That was just one episode. Every episode was the same. A 50-year-old man asking 20-year-olds about their sex lives. <laughs> oh, is it because you don't have a sex life of your own? No blow. <laughs> or rather, no blow. <laughs> Painful monologues. Yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe I could have done a little better. But you were too busy selling chashmas and hair dye. Come on, Karan. Everybody loves coffee with Karan, don't you? Of course I do. I'm going to invite the newest married couple in town. And what? Do rapid peras with them? That's a good idea. Ideas. Ideas. I won't call star kids. No, I call star grandkids. Right. Ideas. <laughs> never, never. You know what? Karan? No, no, no. You're just better off rehashing those same old stories with new actors. You go. Coffee can wait. Screw the wait. I'm brewing season eight, and it's going to be great. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I like it. I did too. That was good. Yep. Uh, <laughs> did, did people think his last season wasn't? I, know, I enjoyed the episodes. That I we did saw too. Of it. I mean, I, I, I mean, they're just they're well, what, shows do well and repeat themselves because they have well, a format that's enjoyable. Why do you? Why do you want something so different from the format that you've loved for so long? Yeah, I don't like late night talk shows. They're the they've been the same for a long time the only thing that changes is are the hosts and the color of the curtains and the the, the, the furniture stays in the same place it may be a different desk but it's in the same place the yeah. band is in the same place yeah if you're expecting like something there's always yeah. an opening monologue and then there's always some funny repartee with the co-host and why wouldn't you want that yeah it's kind of what it is yeah it's like the rom-com format 
it's all the same, really. Yeah. And you want it the, to be the same. Because, like, I mean, it, there has been a few where, like, they don't actually end up together. But I don't know that it would be considered a rom-com full. full. Right. It might just be a romantic tragedy. or right. A rom-com is you go in to be entertained and to watch love. Yeah. <laughs> and the format is the same. Yeah. Uh, and so, like... Yeah. I mean, because at its heart, Coffee with Corona, it's a talk show, y'all. Gossip talk show. Yeah. <laughs> it's really yeah, it's what It's like it a tabloid is. talk show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not much different than other shows of its genre. So Yeah, you're not... Really yeah, and I, I agree. I didn't find anything to be I boring. I enjoyed Me too. Well, I enjoyed it a lot. I know we didn't see every episode, but we saw a lot and of I, them. And I like a 50-year-old man asking 20-somethings about their sex lives. What does that have to... What does the fact... What does that have to do with anything? Said the pedophile, am I right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Take my vitamins. joke about. Huh? Uh... <laughs> Yeah. I, also, I like the uh, like the the fact that he took all the people like the the criticisms and the things that he gets made fun of for. Or uh, uh, do you ask about sex because you don't have a sex life yeah. of your own? <laughs> Low blow. I mean, like, no, no blow. blow. That was good. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah. Um, I'm just confused as to why he doesn't have a sex. <laughs> like, he's a good looking man. My, my and like he could probably get any man that he w wants. Really. Well, he absolutely would have suitors. That's for sure. My suspicion is I know he's a family, but he 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 probably he probably just doesn't want to sleep around. He wants a relationship <laughs> and he's probably very protective and he's got to be careful about who he opens himself up to for a lot of reasons, not the least of which is his influence and whether people are, you know, attracted to him for the right reasons. So I I I, I unlike get it. you. Exactly. The whore. Exactly. Uh so I get it. I wonder who his guest will be this year. Probably Shah Rukh Khan if it's out in October. Probably gonna have Shah Rukh Khan for Donkey. I, I wouldn't. Juwan, would surprise me if he has and Patan celebrations. If he can get them with their schedules, it wouldn't surprise me if he had Ranveer and Alia to talk about what it was like working on Rocky Orani. And they have a new Sanjay Lubin mm -hmm. coming up too. Yeah, probably have. I mean, that's the thing that's so fun is that his guest list, you know, is going to be the, the the he works with everybody. So it's, you're gonna you're gonna see the, the the folks that you like to see in in films and. Probably some surprises, and and I actually like the new kind of games he kind of had a little bit at the end of yeah, uh, this too. past season. I thought they were unique, and so they were kind of different. I don't, I don't know. I think people just like to complain online. <laughs> oh, you think? And also, people have such nostalgia goggles, so anything new is never as good as it was. Yeah, because you have nostalgia for it. you watched it when you were a child, and you have these glorious memories of like Christmas is never as good as you it was when you were yeah, a child. Yeah. Well, I've I've discovered and we've said this many times is that you can point out how beautiful the sunset is and somebody will say, What do you have against the sunrise? I have found that the people that do Fuck that who are basic, just negative trolls all the time. Yeah. The only reason it's it's quite pathetic. The only reason they do that is because they have no voice of their own. So the only way they can find any sense of purpose is to attach themselves to the purpose of someone else and try to bring attention to themselves. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pathetic. I like the um, kind of the introspective and uh, self owning uh, that he does. Uh, I do too. In this, in this. So it's yeah. he's very self aware. Very self aware. Um, I'm not gonna get nipple babies. I'm gonna get nipple grand babies. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um. <laughs> which is which is why every time the show starts, we jump into our Bollywood bootlicker thing. It's the exact Bollywood same bootlicker. kind of and Bollywood accentuation and. of the stereotype. Um. <laughs> yeah, looking Whatever. forward to it. Yeah. That was a great spot. Yeah, great, great job. Uh, let us know what you thought about it. If you're excited for it, uh, who you think the guest will be down below. Just.